Hello, good evening. One, two, one, two. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Wendy, Nelson, and Christy. Hello, Christian. good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Christian. And you finish your dinner or no? It's not here. I can find a way to stop blurring my background. I don't know how to do that. Damn it. When it says stop video, there is a, a options that say blue my background. Stop video. Mm -hmm. mm, and that is Oh, wait. That's under the settings? No, it's uh, besides the, the oh, next to the mute. Uh, oh, here. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay, yeah, but that's not what I need. I must have the one from the academy, you know, and somehow it turned out to be blurred. I don't want it blurred, but anyways, I don't know if I can actually change it. I'll try. Okay, say hello to your classmates. There you go. Say hi, how are you? How do you usually start a conversation? Hello, good evening. And hey, hello, maybe evening. asking uh, about how about the what's the day? How's it going? Everything. How was your day? How's everything going? How's everything going? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then when they uh, Re reply, the answer, yes, reply, mm -hmm. uh, all good, or uh, say maybe uh, pretty good, maybe yeah. you say, oh, nice, and and then it's uh, kind of uh, then try it. You follow the, <laughs> the conversation, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you give it a, give it a try. <laughs> yeah. Show me. Uh like hey, how are you? And hey, well, cool. about what about you? And how how, you? how do you say monologo in English? Uh monologo? Yeah, it's not a monologo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not a monologue. <laughs> try it with someone from the class. Come on. Ah, let's see. Uh, let's see, uh, Carlos. Uh, hi, Carlos. How are you? How was your day? Yeah, uh, very good. Um, the day has been good. Um, I feel a little bit tired, but maybe it's Friday, and I will rest tomorrow. And and I'm happy because it's Friday. Now, lucky you that will uh, will be resting tomorrow because I have to work 
tomorrow is also the Sunday. Oh, really? Where yeah. do you work? Uh, I work in the Cajutla Port. I am a oh. ship agent, so uh, I have to uh, attend some vessels that actually have run three vessels operating at the port. So it's kind of a lot of work, uh, a lot of message that we have to be sending. So it's, today was a, a pretty busy day uh, and also will be tomorrow. Okay, and what are your day off? Uh, it depends. Uh, uh, this week, uh, I was off duty on Wednesday and Thursday. Oh. And then the next week, I will be off duty on Tuesday. And then the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And the next week, uh, only the, the weekend. And so it's, we move in the, the, the duty of day. Okay. Good. Two more minutes I'll give you so you can start a conversation. Uh, and then we will move on to the same topic, but we're gonna do it some different way today. And so far we are eight. Hi, Wendy, how are you? Hi, I find a little tired. <laughs> uh, why? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. It's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> yes. The work of of the week. Yeah. Me too, I am a little bit tired too. A little tired. Yes. <laughs> but here here we are. <laughs> I I need drink drink water, bro. <laughs> I need I need to. I need to. I need to drink, drink water. 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 Drink water. 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 Drink water. 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 <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Water. Yeah. And tea. <laughs> okay. Time's up. Let's do the attendance really quick and then we move on with um, the conversation starters. Um, we're gonna have some random questions so you can practice. Oh my God, we're just eight. Where are the others? Really? Where are you guys? Here you are. Uh, teacher, uh, yesterday I I had some some uh, some issues uh, in the in the house, uh, oh. so I couldn't be uh, connected. And also, I forgot to inform you. Uh, yeah, it's and okay. Today, uh, I'm out of my house, so I will be maybe a few minutes, maybe one hour, roughly. Okay. As a listener, and I will try to. Yeah, try to try to stay connected so the minutes count. Now, uh, please, everybody, turn on your camera. I'm just gonna do the attendance. Remember that they must see your face. It's very important. Focus your face. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. 
Present teacher. Claudia María Meléndez Santos. Cristian Nathalie Erazo Rogel. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martínez. Diego Armando López Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Good evening, Olá. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Oh, there you are. Okay. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present, teacher. Excellent. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. On time, present. <laughs> Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Um, here, teacher. Thank you. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Excellent. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present, teacher. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cordejo. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Okay. Good. So I'll send you a link to your WhatsApp. And it's likely here too. So what's this? This is a very interesting page. That I love because uh, sometimes when I ask you, right, hey, make any question to break the ice, um, this will be a great way to start. So, for example, I can just click on the orange button and generate another question. What's your favorite holiday? Let's start with that one. What's your favorite holiday? Who wants to answer? Nobody? Okay, good. Go ahead. I'm just going to share. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, you're in the next question then. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Action. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas uh, because in those uh, holidays we can spend time with the family, we can um, share or, or, or talk about everybody, and we can stay together all the night, just speaking and remember uh, um, all the good moments that we had all the year, also, um, those holidays uh, bring bring me uh, a lot of good memories when when I was a child because I we used to uh, re reunite with all my cousins and we uh, we we used to good say, job okay did you hear the bell. <laughs> Yes. Okay, good. So the bell is active. Good. Okay. Pronunciation final sound. Talk. Talk. Yeah, just like talk. <laughs> like that. Talk. In past, talked. Talked. Talk. Talked. Okay. Talk. Let, let's talk. Let's walk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All the night, um, let's say the whole night or the whole evening, whichever you prefer. The whole night, the whole night. Sounds better, right? All the night, mm. all night long, all night long, right? The whole mm -hmm. night, just speaking. Don't make a pause on this because the S is blended. So it goes along, just speaking. Just speaking. Just speak. Como que la tejo un poco muda. Just speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you link both S sounds. Reunite. Gather. 
we gather again we gather again doesn't it does it sound better we get together you know we gather oh that's another way we get together we get together after a long time no seeing no seeing each other okay okay and you go like man long time no see long time no see did you hear that that's a common saying and an, an american common saying long time no see man long time no see i haven't seen you in a long time mm -hmm. one more thing guys uh, you can ask how's it going instead of saying how are you how are you right try to say how's it going how's it going hey how's it going yeah not bad can't complain can't complain these are natural ways of replying or saying hi or saying you know the answer to that question hey how's it going not bad can can complain and there are many others there's a lot of common phrases okay great job nelson who is next who said me guys who said who wanted to talk someone said i'm, I'm next so i'm gonna throw the next question Just to give you an example, okay? Another another question. Oh, okay. No, that's too easy. Hmm. <laughs> okay, a lady. I need a lady to speak. I need a lady to speak. I try. Who said, okay, Marilena, great. Describe yeah. your perfect date. Describe your perfect date. Mm, when proposed married. Okay, one, two, three, go. When Peter proposed me um, married, I am in my house with all family and he come and give me a flowers <laughs> and I don't know how do you say serenata uh, serenade serenade I that, yeah I think that's the way in all family my family big family my mother to son my sister um my uncle oh, many 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 people and go to the restaurant and all the wine <laughs> and give me um, a ring and I get yes. <laughs> I am yes. Um, is my day favorite because always my family uh, okay. together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And everybody say everybody was like no say no say no hasta yo really no oh but you're married so you said yes right change check on change okay well main area of improvement we need to work on simple past don't forget all the verbs in simple past when peter and you don't need to say when peter pro 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 proposed me proposed me marriage uh, no just say when Peter proposed me, when Peter proposed me, that's it. It's understood that he proposed you marriage, right? Um, he come, he came and gave me flowers. He came and gave me flowers. Many people, guys, what do you think? A lot of people. A lot of people, much people. Yeah, but a lot sounds better, thank you. A lot of people, man, there were a lot of people. 
It was a lot of people. Okay, go, we go to the restaurant, we went to the restaurant, simple past. Then he, we forgot the subject here. He gave me a ring. He gave me a ring. My date favorite, as I said before, what is an adjective here and what is a noun? So it's the way around, right? It's all the way around. My favorite date. Got it? Remember, favorite qualifies the date. My favorite romantic date, my favorite, um, I don't know, holiday, whatever. Okay, so you qualify date. So this is what I want you to do. Just go ahead. Today is Friday and the body knows it. So we're just going to get in small groups, get the link, open the link, look for a question that fits your knowledge. I don't want you to make questions that, that are too difficult, you know, that your classmate may not answer. <laughs> difficult. Or, you know what, we are just 10. So yeah, let's make three trios, okay? Three trios and a four. So you got it? Just choose any random question, answer it, practice, okay? We got it? Okay, let's go. Practice, practice, practice. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I try to see the link. Um Teacher, um, I have a question. In the in in the link, we need to see um one of the random questions or 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 the video. No, no, no. Just click on the on the orange bottom so you can change the question. Oh, it says no, generate um, another random topic. Okay, generate another random topic. Okay, okay. Are you still, oh, okay, I, I get it. Thank you. Okay, I have one question and is what is your favorite ice cream flavor, Sylvia? Please repeat me, please. Okay. Um, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Mm, my favorite e flavor is cheese strawberry. Uh, cheese? Cheese, cheese. strawberry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I really like the ice cream. Uh, well, my favorite flavor is the chocolate, but I really like the sh Belgium chocolate. And and it's my favorite, just that <laughs> I, I I don't like the other flavors. And <laughs> yes, I really like the pops, the flavor of the chocolate of pops. <laughs> okay. Okay. In um, my case, we... I don't like the ice cream. Is is occasionally in. Me too. Um, we have another two. 
to people in the group. Juan Carlos, I don't know if here. Okay, I continue. Um, other question is, uh, if you could start any business, what will it be? Um, uh, please repeat. If you could start any business, what will it be? In my case, I, I really like the tourism and I a uh, few years ago I started uh, a little business, a family business, and I have a tour operator. Uh, I don't know how to say in English, tour operator. <laughs> okay, I have a tour operator, and I visited a lot of countries and a lot of places in, in, in this country. So so I have this, this business. You can follow me in, on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, in my case, uh, with my husband, uh, create the, the business of um, seller uh, insurance. Um, and, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Venta de seguros? Insurance, insurance selling. Uh, uh -huh. in insurance. Insurance. Insurance selling. Yep. And with my my husband, I start in I start in in twenty eleven, more or less. And when my daughter uh, was born, uh, was born she had uh, with was born and uh, she she speak about the uh, science uh, she is uh, speak about this this word um and and she say i i i was no i i don't say this she she say that the uh, the her work is in in X com company uh, of in insurance. Okay. What what is the first question? The, the question that I told you, if you were given three wishes, what would you wish for? Next one first. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I will answer my, my own question. If I have three wishes, um, maybe the first wish that I will ask is it's to coming back no. from uh, to life. No, my to question my... is you question the first. The first question is is Nelson. The first question is Nelson. I wish three wish. Okay. If you have three wishes. I know. What would you wish for? As I was told you, my first wish telling you. will be, I was, as I was telling you, my first wish, first wish will be, um, Taking back my grandma, mm. my grandma, uh, to stay here with us uh, uh, at least one week or something like that to see her again. Uh, the second wish will be uh, 
a lot of help to all my family uh, and a lot of uh, many years to live together. And the third one will be uh, to be millionaire. <laughs> uh, not only to 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 spend or do not worry about every uh, single aspect like, in my life, but uh, to help uh, others in need. Okay, who's next? Mm, maybe my first wish is that my son um, will know who drove adolescent and because he um, show like um, I'm sorry, I know no alien <laughs> in the adolescence is um, difficult for uh, yeah. um, for all family. Mm, and the second, maybe mm, one, <laughs> because we always uh, work. Mm, yes, and he is necessary in for every for everyone. And the third maybe that my father mm, don't go mm, the to the house. Um, he is alive, uh, but with other family in. To be a father, it is it's a crazy and explodes my mind. Uh, I feel so happy, and I say to many people, to a lot of people, sorry, and it's the best season for my life right now because I'm starting a family, and I had the opportunity to be a, a father or a daddy. And it's so nice, and I recommend you the teacher now. I think I, too. I am a father. But it's very nice. I am a father. Ah, what? Yes. I am a father too. How? What? Quantos? Ah. How, how many? many? How many? Sorry, sorry. Two, two, two children, two sons. Boys. Two. Boys. Two Both ch are children, children. Boys. Yes. Like you or like your wife? Like me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It, it's a better, um, it's a better, uh, uh, I don't know how do you say, uh, but I, I agree with you. <laughs> Yeah, it's the best decision ah, in my yeah. life to marry and to be a father. But like when you when you realize that you were going to be a father, um, you were like um, surprised because you didn't want or you wanted. Yeah, I wanted. I wanted. I wanted. The last year, I want to be father. And my wife, I want to. And we pray with God and God, please, please. I I need this opportunity and I want it. And I think that was a, a dream of my life to be a, a father and, and make a, a family. And, and how many children do you have? One children, only one. one children, children, only one. Ah, oh, only one. And how old is he? Three months. Ah, three months. Yeah, ah. three months. It's, it's a, a baby. baby. Uh -huh, it's yeah, a baby. He is sleeping already now, but I remember. Ah, yeah. ah, yes. 
<laughs> it's a baby. Yeah. Uh, it's good. And you? No, my my the older the older is uh, six months. No, six <laughs> years. Oh, <laughs> six years. Um, the the smallest or the small is the youngest. Uh, the youngest is three years old. Mm -hmm. uh, our kids. Um, uh, uh, they are going to uh, the the youngest is going to start classes this year in kinder. And do you want more? One more? I I want I want uh the uh one baby girl. baby girl yes, but she doesn't want <laughs> any children more. <laughs> Yes, she, she doesn't work. But it's okay. <laughs> For a woman, uh, I think that I just want more because it's difficult. Yes, it's difficult. But it's a, a, a strong sport. I like it. Yes, it's, it's very difficult. Um, but it's... it's how do you say chill? <laughs> it's nice. Cool. cool. Huh? It's cool. nice. Right. It's cool. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice to, to have children. It's very nice. Very nice. You learn a lot. And you, teacher, you had three boys. Uh, yes, I have three kids. Ah, three. Kids. But two boys and a girl uh, so yeah i did the same as you i kept <laughs> trying until we got the baby girl it was like um two boys and yes and lately the the girl but they are like 13 10 and 7 mm. well, she's about to turn the eight. girl is, is a queen of the house yes yes i mean she manages me not me to her, it's just the opposite. <laughs> but, you know, it's just totally different. Love for a baby girl is different than the love for a baby boy. You treat them differently. You have to play with her, you know. And you yes. have to be nice all the time. And in my case, I have to educate the other two for, you know, to behave with a lady. Because she will end up looking for a, for a boyfriend like you know, that looks like their brothers, her brothers, I'm sorry. Uh, she's going to look for that type of, um, she's going to have that perspective that, how do you call that? Oh my God. She will have that resemblance of their her brothers. So hopefully everything goes well. I can die. I mean, <laughs> they both, they both are, are really nice, you know, with her and everything. And they take care of her. Even at school, there's a little guy always telling her, I love you, I love you. I mean, it's, she's on first grade. Oh, wait, second grade. She's on second grade. But there are some little kids, you know, that are always playing with those things. And I don't like it. No. I get no. jealous. I get jealous. I go like, why, why is he calling you like that? I don't know. He's always telling me that he loves me and he writes me letters. And I'm like, <laughs> that's so funny okay let's go back let's come back okay let's go back
Okay, let's wait for the others. Two, three, four, five. Ten today. We're just ten today. Okay. Um, what were what was the most difficult question that you found or that you made to your classmates? Can you tell me a difficult question you found or a funny question or the best question you found? Nothing really. Man, you could spend hours, and I'm telling you, you could spend hours selecting questions on that tool with that random question generator. I did. I used to implement that for the interviews. When I was an interviewer at a call center, I used to play with that tool, you know, just like that. Show me what you got. And they were expecting, oh, uh, tell me about yourself. Okay. And what's your daily routine? What did you do yesterday? What will you do on the weekend? That's not a nice in a good interview an interview nowadays is just talking like a natural person you know so that's why that's very useful okay so uh tonight we have to talk about requesting a training you know how, how do you request a training to your employers but first i need we need to understand what is a training right we said that there is a um, a good idea of what is a training, let's say. But in reality, a training is is oriented, or they create um, this type of programs to develop skills on on the employees um, that may be required for the position. For example, this course, if the if you're learning English. Most likely your company considers that you may need it. You may need it for your job position. Uh, do you think you need English in your current job? Who says no? Do you do you need English right now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Nobody is here because <laughs> just because. For for my current job, I think that I don't need no. the English yes, no. for my current. Your current position, okay. But you, you're planning, as you said, right? You're planning. Yes, yeah. uh, I'm planning to change. Yeah, and there are there are job vacancies right now. You know what I will do if I were you, Carlos? If I were you, I will start going in front of the mirror, presenting results, explaining balance sheets, explaining cash flows, explaining budgets in front of the mirror like if you were um, exposing the data to a board of directors and i'm telling you because there is a position on my job and they're looking for an accountant but one of the main requirements is for him or her to be able to express naturally the numbers you know and tell tell the board of directors hey you know what um if we continue losing money this way um, next year, da -da -da -da, and et cetera, right? Give projections and all of that in English, in English. I will do it. Yeah, start practicing that. That's very important because definitely your interview is like that. For an accountant, the interview must be natural <clears throat> in that sense. <laughs> okay, so going back, you, your training, um, the company, uh, identifies a training need and this is called needs assessment um where is it okay a uh, training needs assessment tna training needs assessment uh, basically is a method to determine if a training needs um exist if we need to train our personal um and this comes from a gap on the development of processes. If it is a manufacturing company, if it is a manufacturing company, you know, they manufacture products, it's easy, very simple to identify 
if a training is needed, especially on the production line. And if you go moving, you know, through the different departments, right, you may find other needs of training. But coming to the administrative part, um, a bank, let's say, okay, uh, it may be different. It may be more difficult to find um, training needs assessment. So, and, and they use it to determine the performance um, required and the knowledge. So there are two things. You, you either assess the performance of your employee or you assess the knowledge, how much they know. If they don't do operations, as I was saying. So have you ever asked for a training to your employer? Have you ever gone like, hey, you know what? Um, I think I need an Excel training. You think that's possible? Or uh, I don't know how to do this process. Can you bring someone to help me? That could be a training request, right? What do you think? Have you ever been there? Nope. No, in my case, I, I don't have, I, I, I haven't been in that position. Uh, when I, where I used to work, they, uh, they give me, they gave me the, 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 the trainings in, in every single uh, aspect that was my job position needs. Mm -hmm. But uh, in my current uh, job, they don't give me anything, but also I don't uh, have to, uh, I haven't in need to, to tell to tell them that I need some training uh, because it's not that hard or not it's not that difficult in what I'm doing right now. It's not different. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there is an article, but I'm trying to find something that I always have handy but I changed my computer, just a minute. Okay, thinking about the way your company is structured, the way your company is structured, how would you go, how would you go about requesting a training? If I say, how do you go about requesting days off? That's simple, right? <laughs> It's easy. I just go with my boss. But how do you request a training? Think about it. How would you go if you were to ask? Who would you ask? Would you write a letter? I don't know. You tell me. In, in my case, uh, uh, it's kind of difficult uh, because I have uh, almost 11 years work in the same company doing the same thing. And this is my first training, uh, I can say. Uh, so before I, a few days, sorry, a few days ago, I had some uh, uh, kind of course about uh, uh, kind of how do you say brigadas? Uh, Obrigada de emergencia? Keep going. I, I'll, I'll look it up. Uh, but the thing that uh, for me, that wasn't a, a really uh, course or, or a really training because that was a few uh, classes on video. For sure, I learned something uh but for me uh, the training is it's kind of this where you can learn more things uh that helps you to grow up as a person 
uh, professionally, so grabbing the company or helping to do uh, your job better. And in the company, and, and this, this is something that I speak uh, maybe all the days with my boss. Because the whole my day. Boss, not the whole day, maybe uh, almost every day. We, we mention this because uh, actually my boss is, is my friend. We know each other uh, since we uh, since since we were a child, so we grew up uh, in the same neighborhood, and so we know we have the 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 how to say the confianza, the confidence be, between us to say uh, everything, and he also say say the same that the the company doesn't. I don't know if they doesn't like to spend time or maybe they think that uh, being a training, for sure you will spend some time. Uh, as a worker, you have to do some extra, extra job or maybe uh, you have to, to take some free time in order to to do this training uh, because it will be to helping you and also to help the company and do a better job but sometimes and the company is kind of difficult to ask because I asked my boss my boss asked to his boss that is for sure is uh, actually is a, a new West boss has roughly six months and being our boss, but has four years working in the company. And I don't know if they see or they know uh, or they see the, the big picture. I don't know how how how, how to say that because I think that there is a lot of things that we have to know in our job. Uh, is uh, is the maritime industry. We have to know about uh, local law, uh, about the custom law, about the maritime law, because uh, sometimes we we present some problems with some vessels that, that we have to take some responsibility or take some decisions. And when do, do you know, sorry, when you don't know what you have to do according the law, to the maybe, law, huh? yeah, maybe you you will make a mistake wrong. Uh -huh. yeah. without and, knowing. And the mistake is not only a, a simple mistake, that mistake is uh, uh, is involved with a lot of money, and I don't say ten dollars. Cents, uh -huh. it's, it's like a million something, and it's difficult because they don't see that we we have to know a lot of things. In me, in my case, I uh, I I am in in this. In this course, because I asked for, uh, I saw the the ad mm -hmm. in the I guess Facebook or Instagram, mm -hmm. and I spent uh, maybe four months in order to ask for, in order to to ask for the opportunity. Awesome. Because uh, because I I I, I thought that the answer will be uh we will see or i don't know if you need it but in my case it suppose that i have to to be uh fluent in english mm -hmm. because my position is is that 
no in the English. It requires, my position requires, requires that knowledge. To speak in English, uh, our communication uh, should be only in English. Mm -hmm. uh, it, if you are working in the same company, doing the same 11 years, it's supposed that you... Yes. <laughs> Totally. You could play, yeah, you could play that, no? Yeah. So, but the thing is that, no, actually, we commenced to work there. We started? Because, okay, we started to to work there. And because we had a little bit of knowledge, maybe okay. more than another person. And in 11 years, for sure, I guess, uh, we learn maybe to express something maybe maybe we don't speak uh perfect uh but something that i am i'm saw that normally the person uh with who we speak uh, the most of them, they are no, they are not uh, native speakers. So they struggles to uh, to express like us, and sometimes it's more difficult to speak with some person that is like you that doesn't know perfect the the language it doesn't know the language perfectly that's that's a mistake a mysterious situation for me as a teacher because many of you speak with another student and you understand everything <laughs> like i'm like what what is he saying and then he goes like oh he's saying that this is in it oh okay i'm like okay okay uh let's move on guys our next step is to watch a video that will help us understanding um, a previous topic. I'll send it to your WhatsApp and also I will send it here. We are not going on groups. Just watch the video, it's like five minutes or less about continuing professional development. Uh, just for you to understand a little bit, let's watch that video. It's an amazing thing, you know, because they sometimes send documents, but there are simple things. Oh, Marilena. Okay, I'll give you the opportunity in just one minute. Perfect writing. <laughs> That's a good writing. Okay, let's watch the video. Just turn on your, well, everybody's on mute, so that's good. Keep your mute button, watch the video, encienda los subtítulos, turn on the closed captions. Okay, pueden bajarle la velocidad si desean también, but please, cada vez que damos un video, su misión va a ser tomar nota señores necesito que por lo menos me encuentren cinco palabras que no conocían dentro de este video ok and I'll ask you for these words ok um, número dos en tus propias palabras in your own words just tell me what's, what is it what is she talking about ok so I'll select some of you one two three let's watch the video
as I was saying, four minutes, four minutes, three, three minutes and we're done. So I like the last part, <laughs> the last word. Okay, let let's start. Uh, what what word? That she she said, uh, wherever you are in your career, and whatever you want to achieve, your CPD uh, should be that yours. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I guess uh, she's uh, that's mean that you are the only one. Uh, responsible for uh for your professional development development uh, de development development uh, development development there you go development yeah it's true i mean only you know what you really need right i, I mean that. i mean we, we are supposed to know what we need but honestly when you work on a daily basis if you think about what you do in a daily basis, you may realize that that if you knew something else, it will be easier for you yeah. to do to do to do things. Okay. Good. Okay. Show me your words. Any new words that you learned today? She used a, a difficult word at the beginning of the video. Itos. Um, what? Itos. Itos, right? It's true. What does it stand for? Like character. Uh, mm -hmm. Enhance. Like improve. Improve, that's right. Enhance is a synonym of improve. Um, encompasses, 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 uh huh, which is points between brackets, right? Yeah, uh, and the word that I look at the Google Translator, but I didn't understand media, 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 media. Yes, I have the that word also. How do you spell I that? Look... How do you spell that? Miriam, yeah. I, I look for and why? it says 
R I A D. It's like a synonym of countless. Ah, okay. M Y R N D. M Y R I A D. A D. Oh, myriad. Maybe. Myriad. Okay, so what are we understanding between ethos, myriad? What does that sound like? Yeah, what, what does that, doesn't it ring any bell? Okay, let me write that down. That's another American phrase. Does that ring any bell? Repeat, yes. does that ring any bell? That's ringing a bell. Any bell? Does that ring any bell? Does that ring any bell? No te recuerda algo? No te suena. No te suena? Uh -huh. Does that ring any bell? Okay. Doesn't it sound like Greek? Like Greek? Um, did you read La Iliada when you were in, in your bachelor? Mm, Itos, Kratos, yeah. right? I don't know. But that sounds like Greek to me. So this means that Americans also use uh, words to say things that don't exist in their language. For example, how do you say chorro in English? Faucet? Faucet? Uh -huh, faucet, but is that an American word? No. How do you say prometido in English? Fiance. Fiance. Um, Fiance. Oh, yeah. What is that? French. What language? French, right? Okay. And we have a lot. I mean, as Spanish speakers, we have a lot of anglo saxons I guess. <laughs> right? They, so they have Francaicisms. Americans have a lot of Francaicisms and so on, right? Um, that's why you, you couldn't find ethos and, and, and myriad. Um, in fact, ethos means custom, a character in Greek. <laughs> you see, as originally named or used by Aristotle. Okay, so <laughs> it's true. Now, myriad may be a synonym of mere, mere. Just the mere idea of you. Oh my God, I just remember a song. Uh, Nat King Cole. Mm -hmm. I'm living in a kind of daydream. I'm happy as a king. I can't remember the name of the song, but I'll, I'll do it one of the days and, and, and you'll see it here. Do, do you like jazz? Does anybody like jazz here? Jazz? So Natalie Cole, Nat King Cole. Um, the very thought of you. If you want to fall asleep with nice jazz, it's called the very thought of you. Nat King Cole. I think I, I can remember. King, Nat King Cole. And so going back, more words, more words. Give me more words. I feel like Eddie Murphy when I do that. Give me more words, more <laughs> words. <laughs> Yes. I, I also find personal SWOT analysis. Uh -huh. Oh, SWOT analysis. Okay, what does SWOT stands for? In Spanish. Ah, no, no, a... come on, you can try it. <laughs> it's S like a personal analysis that you will find your um, uh, strangers and oh, strength. Strength, strength. And, strength and weakness. Also, Come on, let this go back one by one. Okay, strength, uh huh, weakness, opportunities, and treatments. Opportunities, uh huh, and treatments. Threatens, uh -huh, threatens. Threats. Difficult words. Difficult words. Threatens. Okay, I have to look them up because I weaknesses. Your weakness, opportunities, and threatens. Threatens. So strengths, weaknesses, 
opportunities and threatens. What? Uh, which in is Spanish in is Spanish? Poda? Uh -huh. poda? <laughs> it's the same it's thing, the poda. same exact thing. Continue, Nelson, continue. And another word that I found, I, I found it's up. Up. Would you it's spell? Like uh, OPT. Oh, oh opt. Okay. Like can... a choose. Uh, or... Choose. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a synonym of select mm -hmm. or take a decision between two things, right? You can that, opt that, for this or that. Okay. Words. Three words. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like that word and I use it a lot. Mirror. It's just a mere thought, you know, a mere idea, a mere idea, a simple idea. It's just a mere idea, don't worry. It was just thought. Okay, somebody else? New words, new words. That's it? <clears throat> okay, I'm preparing you. And Marilena, Marilena, huh? Oh, okay, Diego. Um, sí, um, hello. Cease. Yes. Cease. To um, stop. To cease fire. <laughs> cease fire is a synonym of stop. Stop. And to terminate, to break, to let up. Since, did you like the video? Okay, let's take a break. We're gonna do a, a short break. Give me just a minute. My camera is flickering. God, let me find it. I want you to think about this. So there are different ways of saying things in English and you, you must understand that really quick because the sooner the better, of course. And that's gonna help you a lot um, to express yourself Oh my God, hold on. I'm always able to see this. Turns out I cannot find it. I'm gonna leave you wishing to watch this short video. I can't believe it. I found it. And again, I expect you to understand because the subtitles are in English. So hope you can see it, understand it. Now, this embrace Guadalupe. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. For one word, there's a whole lot of synonyms. It's just one minute. Let's watch the video on your on your WhatsApp.
<laughs> there's a lot of words in that video and it's so funny i mean this is the reason why i learned english you know it opens up a whole new world i mean so many things that you can learn have you watched this movie patch adams no, no nelson no. what how <laughs> how old are you i'm 30 33 years old 33 and you haven't watched pat adams you gotta no. watch you gotta watch that movie it's a homework for for the weekend that's the homework <laughs> for the weekend man just a little perspective this man is dying of cancer column cancer column cancer and he's always angry he's always pissed off he fights with the doctors he fights with the nurses because he knows that he's going to die so Patch is always trying to make people laugh. He 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 goes to that room like three times. But this is the third time he goes and, and he tries to make him laugh and he finally makes it. It's it's crazy. I mean, but did you get it? What was your favorite? Yeah. What was your favorite definition of death? Like uh, if we bury you, I will yeah, have yeah. A space to pack my bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like warm buffet. <laughs> warm buffet. They will, yeah, have fun with you. <laughs> Carlos, what, yeah, Mario, uh huh. Yeah, me either. The warm buffet. <laughs> me too. Me too. I, okay, me too. I, I I heard it and I said warm buffet. <laughs> right. To buy the farm, to take the cab. Man, it's crazy. That I love that scene. Okay, so that was, and we still have one more. Um, so talking about developing your skills again, as we were doing, hold on. Continuing professional development. Um, it's just getting trained, but the problem is that you need to learn how to request that because there is a way to request training. Now, have you heard about SMART goals? Anybody? SMART goals? No? Okay, SMART is an acronym, is an acronym, okay? So, let me see if it is sustainable. I always forget the, the first word. What does the first? letter stands for okay, here i got it okay so the first letter is specific you say and i'm going to give you a clear example a very simple example um wendy yes do you want to buy a car <laughs> I do want you, to buy do, a car. Do you do you want to buy a car? Mm. Yeah. Okay. What's the color of that car? Uh, want is <laughs> is <Carrera. laughs> what, what is the color of the car that you want to buy? Oh. Uh, uh, red, red or white? What's the model? The model. Model. The I don't know model of car. Okay, <laughs> so no idea. Okay, that that's just no an idea. example. That is just an example. Um, I don't know, Christia. Yes. Let's say that you are single. Okay, do you want a boyfriend? No, I don't want. Ah, come on, say yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's my point. SMART stands for specific, measurable, measurable, action, actionable, it's not easy, actionable, relevant, and time-bound. This means specific. You have to be clear on what you want and how you want it. So, for example, I always wanted a Volkswagen Rabbit from 1980, 1978, you know, and and I wanted it black. That that has always been my dream. 
So I got the car that is red. I know I can paint it and I'm working on it. Okay. Now, measurable. Um, measurable. How do I want it? I mean, can I really have that car? Yeah, I can buy it. So I said, I'm going to save some money. $2,000. Okay, $2,000. I bought the car. Okay. Actionable. I can actually go for it. I can really make this dream come true. I can take actions, actionable, to make my dream come true. So the first step that I took was saving money. Okay. Um, is it something relevant? Yes. In the moment that I thought about my car is because I was working as a teacher, just as a teacher, not call center. I, man, I worked from Monday through Sunday, Monday through Sunday. And this was my last class every day, every day, every day. Then live classes. I'm talking about 2019. In 2019, I used to go to Don Bosco. Um, I used to go to the other academy, this academy, online classes, Monday through Sunday. A lot of money, but it was, it was, I loved my job. I mean, I love teaching. So it was relevant because I needed to move from this place to this place, this place to this place. 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Let's go, let's go. Okay. And the most important thing, time bound. So I put in a calendar. Yo, Rafael Rodríguez, para el 14 de agosto de 2019, tengo mi carro Rabbit de 1978. It was a 1982, actually. I got a 1982. And it happened. So, law of attraction. So, specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and time out. That's the way you should plan your life, your goals, everything that you want, okay? Simply, questions? <laughs> I'm trying to be as simple as possible because there is something on your book. If you have noticed on your book, there are some links for this module. The link of the video we just watched is on, on page, hold on, page 10, on page 10. Oh, I'm not sharing. That's on page 10. You can see it on your book, okay? And the video we just watched was an introductory video to CPD. Now, there's something else uh, that talks about tips to request a training. Tips to request a training, which is down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find it, hold on. It's around here. So, well, let me go with this. Page 14. See, continuing professional. We need to take turns and role play a conversation where an employee presents a manager or a supervisor a structure request to access a training program. Any program to hone his or her skills. To hone, another synonym for what? What is hon? To improve, enhance. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Improve, enhance your skills. Okay. So the request must include at least three benefits that the organization will get through your improved performance after concluding the training. So you have to sell yourself. Sell yourself. Skills you will update, training options. You know what? I can train it online on my free time at home. I really want this Excel course. It's something that I have dreamed of. This will be a great benefit for the company because I will be able to do my job better. Easy. Okay. What other skills can you update with trainings? So this is on page 14. That's your job. Now, to fill out this chart, and again, esto es un role play, señores. Do you know what is a role play? Yeah, 
Simple, right? So Carlos is going to be Fernando. Cristia is going to be Maria Guadalupe, Maria del Barrio. Okay. And she's going to go and Carlos is the boss. He's going to go like, boss, boss, I need it. I need a training boss. I don't know. Whatever. Right? Okay. Um, solo super rápido. Ya me maté mucho tiempo. Um, el link que les voy a enviar ahorita, esto es como para ayudarles mucho. Son 10 pasos sobre cómo en realidad, de una manera profesional, ya hacer una carta para solicitar este tipo de entrenamientos en su trabajo de una forma muy profesional, y al final del link, al final de esa página en, en azul, en celeste, van a encontrar un ejemplo de cómo hacer esa carta. Esto, si primero Dios un día trabaja en un lugar como una embajada, no sé, o oh, wow, vea, quieren hacer algo bien profesional, eso les va a ayudar muchísimo, espero yo. Ok. So, I'm going to split you in small groups. Let's go to page 14. And thinking about these three areas, you need to create a role play. Are we clear? You got it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Vamos a pasar ahora. Mm, si logramos terminar, aunque sea un grupo, pasaría. Si no, el lunes eh, pasan grupo por grupo. Okay. Okay. Come on, guys. Okay. <laughs> Wake up. Okay, let's do it. Vamos, let's have fun. You can do it. You can do it. Hi. Do you have the book? In the chat. The, what's that? Mm. Oh, the link. Was your the link. Okay. No. Hey, teacher, I'm kind of lost. Uh, I don't have the book and the link that you just sent. It's uh, how to make the letter to ask uh, a training. But I don't really don't know. The link that I sent? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't, don't worry about that. Let, let's work with page 14 right now on your book. Hold on, I'll send it to you. I'll send you the chart to your WhatsApp. You can share that image if okay. you want to. Yeah. There you go. Okay. But where can I find that book? Oh, I don't book, have that. The book is on the platform. The book is on your platform of Inglés Corporativo. Remember that you need to do the exercises by tonight. Oh. No, no has accesado a la plataforma de aprendizaje. Sí, sí, ahí hice unas tareas, solo ni a uno supuestamente, pero aquí no veo el libro. Yo solo hice la que decía 1.1, 1.2, tarea y no sé qué, unas preguntas ahí. Mm -hmm. So, no veo libro, en esa no. plataforma está el libro. Ahí dice Students Book. Ya, yeah, si no, eh, después de la clase yo te lo subo, porque en esta compu no lo puedo descargar ni subir. Ok, I will share my screen to... Oh, no, I, can, I cannot share a screen. Try again, try again, please. Okay, now I can. Can you see my screen? 
Yes, I see. Okay. Okay, uh, I can do the, the employee if you want. Who will be the, the boss? The company, what is, uh, I am going to, to make those questions to you. Okay, cool. I will but try to. You have to to make the request first, and and after that I will make you those questions, and you are going to tell me the benefits. But I am going to ask you. Okay, let let's see. Uh, I will try to uh to to do the or to think about uh what uh kind of training uh, uh it will be and in order to maybe to as find as, the the benefits and the the skills as, as you the, said before the english course yeah yeah uh, that, that that's why uh actually that's what uh i was th uh, thinking uh in indeed i have uh some of uh in mind some of uh training that i would like to take uh, according to my job right okay and and for sure i have a kind of for some of of the skills that i a I will improve in myself, and that uh, will be uh, for helping the 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 company. The company. Okay. Okay. Let's, okay, let's see. Yeah. And, and Mario, what is the other thing that you need in your job? Uh, let's see. Because I'm thinking about, well, in my job, I uh, for this year, I need to, to take some courses about the electronic invoice because this year the government is going to is going to um, implement is going to implement the ele electronic voice electronic voice ah uh -huh, yes mm. uh, well uh, the government uh, has been implemented this uh, maybe some years ago, but 
this, this year it's supposed to be that I need some course and because I I want to be uh, the best in my position and you are my boss in this case you will talk with the employer that is Chrisia and you defend the proposal that I, I give you. And finally, is a decision for the manager or the employer that is Chrisia. So in this opportunity, repeat, you are my boss. I am an employee and Chrisia is the employer or the boss or the manager, I don't know. And I don't know what happened with Christian. She, she disconnected. Okay. I don't know. But Wendy, I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? Um, the what is our company in this role place? I don't know. It, it's a a hospital. It's a Salis for sale mm -hmm. or a manufacturer, a factory. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Uh, the company or or what? a travel agency like your job. My job, travel agency. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, you are my boss in this travel agency, and uh -huh. I need a new system for my new computer because the last computer that I uh, it's mm, the last computer that I have and uh, it's obsolete. So the company buy to me a new computer and I need a new system and I need a course for practice and know this new system. Okay. So in your case, the computer, new computer and install system. Sorry. Yeah. Sure. New new computer for you. Yeah. And new uh, install the system or or work. I need a new computer with a new system in the same way. A course or or a class to to learn to use this new computer or this new system. For example, I need to I need a a Mac a Mac Pro, an Apple, and yeah. I don't know why, but the system is totally different. Our other system. system. Is a word, the tail, whatever. No, 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 no. The is the operative system, and the way to to do is different. It's, it's not a, it's not a comparative with a HP or Axus because uh -huh. the Apple system is different than Microsoft. Oh, okay. So I need a course to use this course. I need a course to use this new computer with a new system. Okay, we just finish our role play. Really? Wow. Okay, practice. Did you practice? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we did it once. <laughs> okay, give me just three minutes, okay, before it, uh, we finish because the other two groups are, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> working on it, okay? Okay. Uh, like, if you are my boss, uh, 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 Mario, I want to talk with you. Uh, do you have some minutes? Yeah, for sure, Kalu. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, it's about uh, that I need to take some courses, uh, boss, because uh, this year the government is going to implement the electronic invoice. So I don't know too much about that. Um, in, in, in July, we had to be prepared for for that because all companies are going to are going to use and and but I had to pay uh, four hundred for the course both. What do you say or what do you think? Uh, uh, if we if this is going to be uh taken by yourself uh, you are asking for that permission to do it uh, by yourself and um paying by yourself uh, i guess you don't need uh, any uh, uh or you don't need this conversation because if, if you will pay for it you you are free to to do it of course you can do it on your free time okay ah uh, but i want that the company supports me, that 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 course because uh, in mind the all the knowledge that i'm going to acquire there i i go i going to use uh, here uh, because right now we we are uh, making the invoices by hand so uh, we we need to change and and it's going to be uh, it's going to be obligatory. Uh, yeah, I guess it's mandatory. Ah, uh, it's going to be mandatory. And, 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 uh, 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 sorry, uh, and compulsory is uh, is is different, uh, or you can, or you have. To use compulsory on a different way. Com I don't get it. Compulsory. 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 Yeah. Never used that word. I nunca le nunca le usado. Compulsory. Ah, okay. I'll okay, look we, for we, it. Okay. I uh, we usually use that uh, when something is uh, it's like that. It's mandatory. For example, if uh, I ask. Uh, to use, for, for example, uh, to use a helmet uh, on the when you're on the motorcycle, uh, for me, so it's compulsory. So you, it, it's not an option to don't do it. You have to. It's, your, it's like an impulse. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Okay. So um. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, that's why I need that the company supports uh, me with the money and with the time. Okay, but uh, uh, how that's going to uh, help the company? Uh, I, I mean, uh, actually, we are doing uh, like like this way on all this time before. Right? I don't know if why we have to to change our way to do the things uh, the problem is that uh, we had to do it and we had to be prepared for july because in that moment it's supposed that we 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 are go, we are we we're going to need it we are going to need it. Yes. Okay, maybe when we need it, maybe we can 
Think about it. <laughs> I cannot rule that note. <laughs> Sorry. You're so mean. Yeah, okay. it's not about you. I I I just trying to to be some of some of my bosses. <laughs> but uh, actually, uh, I would like to to act correctly as a, as a boss. And I mean, I'm like the 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 way that you try to improve uh, your knowledge and try to help the company in order to grow up and and be one step ahead on the changes. So uh, we will try to to speak with the. Uh, how do you say the uh, Ponte Directiva? It, it's at the board. The board of directors. Okay, we we have to speak with the board of the director, and we will uh, expose them the or try to explain them mm -hmm. uh, the benefits for the company, and but for sure you have to do a. An extra effort mm -hmm. in order to don. Uh, You're gonna have to do the extra mile. Go the extra mile. I I I mean, uh, in order to don do your job, the hard lado to trabajo. To avoid. Okay. In order to mm -hmm. don't. To avoid. Um, oh my God! How do you say this? Descuidar. To avoid leaving your job aside, leaving your yeah. job aside, yeah. In order to you try to complete your job and your task, and right. we will Bandit. try to, yeah, and we will try to to help you. Uh, I cannot say it now that we'll help you with everything, but we will try to support with something. And in case that the board of directors, uh, I agree uh, with with this, I will uh, inform to you later. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's take it back. Okay, I, I will only have space for one role play tonight. Everybody was so excited talking about this topic. Let's see. Okay, so who wants to go first? Who's ready? Christian. Wendy and I. Okay, good. All yours. One, two, three. Let's go, Christian. It's time to shine. <laughs> In now or never. No. Okay, you can you can start. <laughs> okay, but uh, Wendy. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Uh, and Wendy? Okay. Wendy is here and Christian too. So we're ready. We are ready. No, I'm not ready, but <laughs> but I try. <laughs> okay, Wendy. Hello. Are you ready? No. <laughs> But it's our time to to start this role place. Okay. <laughs> Teacher, can I ready? Can I, sorry, can I start? 
Yes, okay. Hello, Wendy. I have a problem. My Hello. computer um, is collapsed and I need a new computer. And, okay. and I check For what? in Siman that I like uh, uh, iMac on a Pro. I like it because uh, I think that is the the best option for the job, for the application to make a new design for our agents traveling. And okay. please, uh, I need a course too because it's a different system. It's a different system, it's an Apple system. So I want it, I wanted this computer. And please talk with our boss, Christian, because consider. you consider other other computer not other computer uh, is impossible. You you yes. impossible for you. Yes, but I think that I'm the apple it's better. is the best it's better option. For you. Yeah. yeah, I like it. It's a dream for me. Okay. Uh, the system is different? Different. Yeah, but I like it because I use uh, iPhone it's... every day. And then I think that the Pro Mac is the best option. But I don't know. What do you think, Christian? It's fast. It's fast. Better system. Um, okay. uh, so you can be sir. Christian, Christian, uh, Diego needs other computer because the system he needs the system and work very very fast in other computer is very slow, lonely. Slow. Mm -hmm. Slow. Okay. Um, we have a different uh, kind of computers. Computers. So I will offer uh, the the best of your job. Uh, for you can do it at or your 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 activities on your schedule on your daily routine of your work so i i will i will try to to find the better for you and i will share as as soon as possible good okay so you thank convince you. her you got an apple All yours. You. <laughs> okay <laughs> hey diego will you stay 10 minutes please okay okay thank you good night guys i'm gonna do the attendance it's 10 o'clock already Thank you. Enjoy the weekend, okay? Carlos Thank Alfredo you. Palomo and Pineda. Here to share. Good night. Thank Good night. you. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Christian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Present and good night. Good night. Diana Elizabeth Cherejiño Martinez. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Here. Thank you, Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present. Good job. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present and see you tomorrow. Monday. Monday, thank I'm you. I'm going to say bye. Uh, bye. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Good night. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present, teacher. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Yes. Present teacher, good night and uh, have a good weekend. Same to you. <laughs> bye bye. Same. Bye. Okay, Diego Armando Maradona. 
So tell me about yourself. You're living in, in Santa Ana. In Chalchapa City specifically. Ah, in Chalchapa. No, that's not Santa Ana. You're a liar. The best yucca of Chicharrón of the world. <laughs> that's what I heard. No, but it, let's not talk about food. Have you ever been to uh, Oscar Giteño? Of course. I have the opportunity to, to play with the Cerefas when I was young. <laughs> really? Yeah, but in the inferiority. Sub-17 or what? Yeah, sub-17. Did you play uh, with Ramon Flores? No, no. Ramon is, is older than me. Okay. Ramon is from my... Well, I met Ramon when we were kids. We used to okay. play together. Yeah, we used to call him El Niño Rata. <laughs> he, he looked like... You remember yeah. the, the movie? Yeah. <laughs> Man. But then the guy started playing football, doing exercises. You know, it was amazing. It yeah. was, he, 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 he was always a nice guy. Very nice guy. Yeah. He got married but, with a friend. Uh, I stopped the, the play football or play soccer. I stopped uh, playing football? I stopped. I stopped, yeah. Because um, uh, I have an older dream and it is to be an engineer. An engineer, an engineer. engineer. Mm -hmm. So, engineer or what? Industrial. Industrial engineer? Are yeah. you studying right now? No, I finished. Oh, you're done. Yeah. Oh, okay. You had you had the dream of becoming industrial engineer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you study in uh, in National University in Santa Ana? Of course. I remember that place, man. <laughs> was amazing. I mean, I I never went to study there but i used to go playing to colegio san luis too to play basketball it's i start i started at insa i don't know if you did mm -hmm. i started at insa it was amazing i mean those were my best years studying at insa it was amazing but you you so you have always lived in, in chaltropa wait always. no i don't know a chaltropa oh. right Yes, Chalchapa. But did you did you go to school there at Insa or in Chalchapa or? No, in Chalchapa too. I want to go to the Insa, but my parents say no, no, too far, because, because I know that you are a crazy boy, and if you study in the Insa, oh no, I, I don't want to go to the police with you. <laughs> Sorry, man, but that was a long time ago. How old are you? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Ah. Oh. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> you were not alive back in the days that I'm talking about, 90s, you know. Wow, those were the really good years. And so if you ever visit um, Santa Ana and you go around El Redondel or La Despensa de Don Juan. Yeah. Going down on the 25th Avenue, mm -hmm. I think. So from that light after, after La Despensa going down, one, two, like two or three blocks to the right, you will find the bakery Los Eduardos. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you know it? Mm, a little, but is the next block to the Insa. Uh, no, 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 on the 20, I, I don't know if the, I'm saying the right street, I forgot. The same street of Oscar Quiteño going down the Spenza, right? Okay, yeah. okay, then there's a light, you know, a semaphore. Mm -hmm. There's lights so after that light. You keep going down like two or three blocks to the right, and there is La Panaderia Los Eduardos. Man, the best bakery in the world. I mean, in my opinion, and you know, for sweet bread, or and that, that's not called sweet bread. Hold on. Um, I have the problem that I don't like it as uh, sugar. I don't you know, like, oh don't like yeah, you don't like stress. sugar. Yeah, man, you're not a nice person. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs> really? What's wrong with you? No, really. I I know that sugar is bad. I, I I will recommend you. I don't know if you have seen this video. Um, there's a one hour documentary called The Magic Pill. Have you seen it? No. Watch it. You're gonna love it. The magic pill. It's about the, the keto diet. The keto diet is one hour documentaries talking about how bad 
sugar is, um, processed meats, all yeah. these foods, you know, and he talks about in a specific diet. They actually made an experiment with some, uh, so, some football, yeah, Amer American football players. Mm -hmm. They put them on the under a strict diet with vegetables. Everything was vegetables. They couldn't eat meat at all for a month or so. And they get, they gained muscle. They were able to gain muscle. They cooked pizzas of vegetables, you know, burgers of vegetables, no bread, no meat. That was crazy. How do you, how do you say vegetarian? They became vegetarians. Yeah, just for that time. The... And they the... found out that, that this program cures cancer as well. So you're gonna love it. It's, it's it's just crazy, you know. It was on. I'm sorry. It was on Netflix. It was on Netflix. Then they move it. They removed it from Netflix. Now I think you can still find it on on YouTube. The magic pill. Hey, did you watch the video that I told you? And yes, it is. It is on YouTube. It's one hour and twenty nine minutes. The magic pill. It's it's amazing. There that the girl that is right there in the main screen, a little girl, she she has autism. Autism. Mm -hmm. And after seven days, she becomes better on her autism. She behaves differently. She's she only shows her smartness. It's it's very moving, you know, it moves you to believe that that is true. Is that what you're doing or is it just with sugar? No, uh, I think that is for the same um, history that uh, I was uh, athletic in, in different sports. So I always uh, ha have a, a diet. You have always had a diet? Always. I, I don't like to drink Coca-Cola. I don't have to eat. I don't like, sorry, to to eat uh, two chalas. No, no, I I don't like it. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. That's very healthy for you. Hopefully, and you just became a father. Sorry, you just became a a parent, or how old is your child? Sorry, I can understand you. You said you are a father, right? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How, how old is your son or? Three months. Yes, three three months. months. You just became parent. You just became parent. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. So you, you. you have to heritage. You have to heritage to your kid that, that kind of um, feeding. So watch that video. Watch that video, the magic pill. If but you... I, I... I can does, find. Does your does your wife link. support you? Does your wife support you? Yes. With eating healthy. Yeah, uh, my wife is American. What? Are you yeah. kidding me? My wife is American, and Lucky her father you. is from Scotia. Scotland, and, really? And yeah, and. Uh, her mama is from the United States, but uh, for her mom is American. <laughs> wow. The last part in uh, Puerto Rican people. So my wife like to to cooking and very health. And Healthy. I like it. Man, that's amazing. Good luck. You are really lucky. That's amazing. So I send you the link right here. Hope you okay, watch it. You. Hope you watch it. Nice. Hey, say hello to your baby, okay? Good night. Thank you.